Hello, welcome to episode 79, where today we will attempt to cover the mega handheld that defined an entire generation, Nintendo's iconic and somewhat legendary, Game Boy. Given the early production code of DMG01, which represented the name dot matrix game, the first model, the code followed the system into full production. Being first offered for sale in early 1989, the Game Boy lineup would go on to sell nearly 119 million units worldwide in its lifetime. But before we focus on today's main star, I'd like to quickly gaze backwards to last week's photo quiz question, called what in the world? I was being a little naughty to be honest, knowing that I was going to review the Game Boy, DMG01 today, I slipped in a prop, the name Game Boy being visible, as well as some iconic original Game Boy decorative screen lines, in an attempt to trip folk up. Did that work? Because, as you can see, it's a Game Boy Micro, with a retro faceplate. Such is the nostalgia for the original Game Boy that Nintendo and other companies will revisit the iconic and instantly recognizable design, time and again. The Micro is also quite apt because it represents the last ever Game Boy manufactured by Nintendo. Anyway, thanks for playing everyone. For now, I'm going to flick through the original instructions booklet, while chatting away, however, feel free to pause the image at any time for a more in-depth read of anything that catches your fancy. The original Game Boy, a favorite of mine, and surprisingly my wife's too, because I have vivid recollections of her showing me the shuttle blasting off on the Tetris game, indicating a stage completion, while waiting at an airport departure lounge prior to a vacation. I guess it was the first time that I recall people acting in a similar fashion to the modern norm of cell phone preoccupation, with a fair few Game Boys visible in public settings for the first time. As we've heard already, the Game Boy was first released April 21, 1989, and we likely know it was not the first handheld to encompass an interchangeable cartridge, that honor goes to the 1979 Microvision. A few other commercially unviable systems filled in the next decade, but the Game Boy, with its games packs, as they were known back then, made the handheld gaming media mainstream. And at launch, the Game Boy was blessed in so much that it followed on from the then still in production game and watch series of LCD games, that we've fully documented here on our channel. Equally the more advanced, yet, ultimately, a commercial failure, the Atari Lynx, debuted later in 1989, and quickly lost out to the Game Boy, likely to its higher purchase price and limited games library, consisting less than 100 games titles, and the woeful battery consumption was another nail in its coffin. Selling only half a million units in total. A greater, but ultimately equal failure in the completion for handheld gaming dominance at that time came from a very competent Sega system, called the Game Gear. Technologically more advanced than any other competitors at its release in 1990, it ultimately could not beat the sales of the Game Boy. I guess, Gunpei Yokoi from Nintendo's research and development department, made good on his ethos of using lateral thinking with withered technology, elevating it to another level to beat the competition. Even so, many at Nintendo feared the system would be a failure. From the very outset of the original Nintendo Game Boy's existence, this rather large, dirty mucky gray, plastic brick of a handheld, with its pea green dot matrix screen, is perhaps, ironically both under, and overrated at the same time, seen as something quite iconic nowadays, steeped in the nostalgia of the era in which it was sold, it is often referenced in popular culture, period TV shows, movies, t-shirts and even produced as modern day clone systems. However, at the time of its release, it was the ability of the new Nintendo handheld to support an interchangeable game cartridge, that really marked it out as desirable, and it was the quality of these games that sealed its fate. Some of the more relevant, and to be honest, likely well-known facts surrounding the Nintendo Game Boy, might include a mention of its initial launch date, the handheld video game system was first released in 1989, and was only discontinued in 2003, after the sale of an incredible 118 million units worldwide. The system was designed to use standalone, individually themed cartridges, to allow switching between completely different games, with a single console, which might not sound impressive today, but was literally a game changer back then. The system saw a staggered worldwide rollout, it was first released in Japan April 21, 1989, and then a few months later in July in North America, and then finally in September in the European markets. The Japanese marketing team only saw a modest demand upon release, supplying 300,000 initial units, this is what Nintendo estimated would be required to be in stock at the launch, however, this sold out within the first two weeks, with many stores having empty shelves, this despite the company's expectation for its popularity not being that high. By the time the Game Boy Color was released in 1998, the Game Boy had sold over an astonishing 64 million units around the world. This is utterly unprecedented at this time. As we've already briefly covered, and somewhat, surprisingly, 
The Nintendo Game Boy was not the first handheld gaming device that utilized removable cartridges for changing games. Microvision released a version that had this function in 1979 and that played a clone of Atari's Breakout. Nintendo released Alleyway for Game Boy in 1989, which was also a clone of Breakout as well. The team that developed Nintendo's Game Boy was led by Gunpei Yokoi, an engineer. The Game Boy was designed with four buttons and an eight-way D-pad controller. The four buttons included a start button, as well as a select button, and the action buttons were labeled A and B. The controller for the Game Boy was deliberately set up in the same fashion as the previously released Nintendo Entertainment System, which made it popular with gamers who felt familiar with its configuration. When Nintendo Game Boy was released its most popular game was Super Mario Land. Tetris, the puzzle game of falling pieces, was bundled with the Game Boy, and actually became hugely successful, with a high replay value, after gaining only moderate success on the PC. Pokemon became another main game to feature on the Game Boy system, that franchise ultimately went on to be so widely popular, it took on a life of its own. The Game Boy also became a popular option for playing fantasy role-playing games such as The Legend of Zelda. In fact, the game's library became so extensive that it included approximately 1,046 different titles in North America, and a whopping 1,244 in Japan. And that brings us nicely to this week's photo quiz question, we here on our channel like to call, what in the world? Can you recognize what this Nintendo item is from just this snippet of a photo? If you do, then let me know in the comments section below, or tune in again next week and find out. Well, thank you, I'd encourage you to give us a good old fashioned thumbs up, Feel free to offer a supportive comment and, as always hit that subscribe button if you're not a member yet.